Hello guys, Alfarp here. We are back, and we are looking at a sandstone wall. There is a very important reason for this, and to show what that reason is, we're going to turn around and look at this. You might be asking, why are you stupid and looking at a hopper? And here is why. Let's go upstairs, and we will check out my new skeleton gr skeleton grinder that just spawned a skeleton over there. Wonderful. Second thing you will notice is that my um, tools are on the right of my thingy. My setup thing, whatever it's called. Whatever. I know what it's called. Um, thirdly, something is weird with my frame rate. So, the reason I'm surprised at my frame rate being a stupid is because I am on my fancy new computer. There we go. So that's right. We have a fancy new computer now, which means that I can like do things without getting lag. And so this is kind of my first time recording on it ever. So if it screws up horribly, well then crap. But that's okay. Cuz we can still do this. So, for now, we'll just put this on. Pants broke because I was getting shot a lot. And so, we've pretty much got enough arrows somewhere. Yeah. That should be enough arrows for a long time. So, let's just sneak back there, 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 there. And then, I'm going to wait a little bit. Get back, get, get set up over my base. I'll finish this up later, but for now, I still have more than enough arrows. Arrows and arrows. Kind of want them to give me more glass so I can finish this place up. I kind of like how the glass looks next to the um, sandstone. Plus, this way I don't fall in like I've done many times. Yeah, I remember this place. And then actually, I do kind of want to hit um, that area down there where the creepers were. Not where the creepers were, but I think there were creepers there. But in the bottom area, I don't think I checked out those chests. And that is something that I should do. So yeah, I'm on new computer, and I got a fancy new mouse, which is why I can do these kind of switching things. And so my tools are on the far ones. Tools and super important things are on the far um, mouse buttons, because that way I can, which I'm gonna call it, I can scroll to them easily, and then anything else, it's still pretty easy to get to. So I think it's safe to put you on now. So that makes a lot of sense. So yeah, it's been working really nicely. I still gotta fit. I gotta kind of organize the wires. Still, there was a bit of a. I messed up a little bit over there, but that's fine. For the most part, it's a. It runs things well. I don't know what else was up with that lag. It's probably something to do with the fact that this is my first or second time recording on DX Story. So. Whatever. We got good frame rate. They are not. Chunks are not loading. I have a feeling that's something to do with the fact that I'm recording, but whatever. We can deal with that. So let's not have any pants. But okay. Well, who needs pants anyway? Let's just quickly organize. Get crap set together. Got blocks. Got arrows. We need to drop this stuff off. Or else it'll irritate me. We got oh we got arrows for days. Okay, we're good. So what else do we need to do? Light. We need light. Those things are important. The whole light idea thing. Let's do that. Uh yeah, six torches, that's enough. And then we're going to go back to the um the place with the stuff in it. So yeah, that's gonna be a fun thing to do. I got my ladders and signs to block off lava. That's that's my plan for that place. So and then also when we go down there I'm gonna need ladders to um check things out. So the last thing that I'm gonna want to do is I'm gonna bring a piston so that I can easily set up a wire in the one place where I got exploded big time. Let's not go up here. I don't need anything from up here. 
So, once I find my damn piston, piston, screw it, up here. Um, I took that piston for the last episode. Here's the next piston. And you fall. There we go. Come on, ladder. There we go. And now, I'm going to move that down because I can hear myself breathing, so I think you can too. And now we go down to here. There, there. There. We just gotta get rid of all the stuff that I used to make the grinder, basically. I think that's mostly it. And we're off. So. I, I haven't actually played this map in a while. I've been kind of finishing up the grinder. So I might be a bit out of CTM shape if that is a thing. Probably is, seeing as how bad I was in the beginning, and I haven't died in the last couple episodes. Probably hold this one. But, I do think things have been going, have been improving. Obviously, the last episode, I'm recording this a couple weeks in advance because I'm going on vacation in a little bit, but that's fine. So, we're going to go to the decaying laboratory. Real quick and beat it right away. Because that's going to happen. Especially with all those skeletons there. Please don't shoot me. Thank you. And then blocks. See, look at that. This mouse is wonderful. I didn't even plan on getting it. I was just kind of thinking, oh, let's should get. It. We should get a good mouse because we're spending lots of money, and the salesperson's saying you should get a good mouse. And I'm a sucker for salespeople, I guess. So that's what we're doing. And I just realized we're running on one six. So I will be right back. Okay, we are right back, and we are once again in monstrosity. We're waiting for the recording to catch up with us. And we're being very careful, because I don't want to get killed by a lag spike from the recording. See, like that. That kind of thing. It could kill me. Anytime. You always have to be prepared for this. And the stupid flying fire that's on everything and nothing at the same time. And those assholes are just going to pop up and be like, Hey, what's up? I want to kill you. And I'm going to be like, No, jerk. They're going to say yes. And everything is on fire here. Probably because I poured lava that one time. Speaking of pouring lava, we need something. That wasn't it. We don't need to catch on fire. Though it is related to lava, I guess. We need lava. Alright. Get the buckets. I should not have brought all my buckets. It was a very poor decision. I'm gonna want to put... You're you. You go to one. How are you on fire? Oh, I thought that was the stone that was on fire. I just want to come in here, get some damn shears. Oh, crap, speaking of that, I'm worried now because I think they, I think I got around nine iron. So if that was the only way to get the iron block, um, that's bad. So we're going to have to worry about that. But, for now, we will worry about this. Not catching a fire, though that is a problem. So, I remember encasing these two spawners... Let's just break them. They'll just be annoying. And break you. Make sure we're not in peaceful. We're in normal. I think we can handle that now. I think I've improved to the point where... No, I don't, actually, but... Whatever. I don't want to change my difficulty because I've already struggled in doing that many times, as you may have noticed. So yeah, I'm not using vines. I don't trust them enough. I don't know why I don't trust them, but I don't. I have trust issues. Actually, that's kind of perfect placement of the lava, I must say. Uh, we're going to want to get a water bucket out, not empty buckets. And dump you guys on the, the hell. That happens normally. Okay, so we can dump you there. Ah, oh, you can't pick it up like that, can you? It's weird. Okay, I guess we didn't need them. Hey, guys. Um, now we burn these jerks to death. Lava bucket is wonderful. 
All hail the almighty lava bucket. Burn. Oh, there's some glass down here. Glass is always good. Actually, it's really bad sometimes, too, but... Uh... Hmm. Okay, so this is still our fish where I am. If we just use, actually, that... Okay, you can walk in there. That, that's fine. Ah. Uh, oh, there we go. What the hell? There we go. I don't know what happened there. Second time this happened. Shit. Okay, uh, uh, something weird's happening with the water, but I just lost the ladder. So let's go back to ladders. And we will place you. Be placed. Close enough. And I'm going to real quick, um, go straight up. Go straight up! I can't go straight up, apparently. There we go. And take a quick peek. So we have lava everywhere due to me getting exploded here. We have fleecy box here. So let's go there. We have hole in fleecy box due to explosion. So let's block up hole in fleecy box because I don't feel safe with hole in fleecy box and creepers everywhere. Let's finish blocking up hole in fleecy box. Let's look in fleecy box, and we have magenta core. That was way quicker than I thought it'd be. Holy crap! Uh, we don't need food for what for now. Uh, we need runaway powers right now. So let's use our runaway powers and run away. Figure out where the hell to go now. Probably back to the base because that's just kind of our thing. Yeah, I think so. This is just a note to self, but I feel like I have to say this on the video. You remember the lag when I first started recording, so I think the trick is just to wait a second. Because I definitely have um, a good enough processor and everything, pretty much. Uh, 770 graphics card, 8 gigs of RAM, i7 processor, so pretty much I kind of went all out of this thing. It functions quite nicely. I just was actually playing games that I would never play when I had the Mac such as Warframe, or pretty much any first-person shooter on full settings, so I don't think that we're going to have any frame rate issues at all. I've had weird lag spikes with... Actually, I think it's motion games I've actually had more problems with lag spikes than anything, because now that I think of it, the other game that I actually had a lag spike on was Scrolls, which is actually really awesome if you aren't playing that, by the way. It's different than... Obviously, it's very different than Minecraft, but it's a really fun game, and... I really do recommend it because it was very fun. I actually ended up playing the same guy twice in a row. Completely random too. But anyway, so that was so that's something that you should note or that I should note, not you. I mean I guess if you get the exact same computer as me you should remember that for some reason other Mojang hate Microsoft hate hates Mojang. Or maybe it's the X story, I don't know. Could be any of them. They all hate Mojang. Everybody hates Mojang apparently now. It's fine. I'm going to break you because I feel like it. So we got to go here. Break you guys. I still haven't gotten that stuff, but now that we have our bone meal, I'm thinking about just making the one, um... Actually, that'd be a good idea. I'm, what I think I'm going to do is, in the um, skeleton grinder area, just set up a quick farm with some dispenser so I can just hold, right-click, and everything's happy. So I'll quickly... I know... Miss, there's a how-to somewhere on that. So where's the magenta core? Magenta core. Magenta. Poof. Yeah. Got it. Is there... I was. I keep on thinking that something magical is going to happen. So we've gotten orange and magenta along with our light blue and a pink wool. Gray wool, light gray. Emerald, diamond, and iron. And gold. Of course, nobody remembers gold. Iron I'm worried about, as I mentioned earlier, but... We'll worry about that when we have everything except for iron. Or when iron pops up and stop being worried about that. That's definitely preferable, the second one. So let's get a quick, quick snack, and I guess we're going to go to the, um... Whatchamacallit? 
what are they called? The first area. That, whatever the hell it's called. Um, the something ruins. The smoldering ruins, maybe? And we're going to try to beat the crap out of that place. And that'll be fun. Hopefully we won't die again. This lack of dying thing is fun. Kind of doing good lately. I have spinny wheel on mouse. It's fine. We can handle that. I think we got everything we need. Yep. Oh, uh, you want you on three. So. Let's go forward. Forward. We. Running. I guess I'm not that out of shape. Then again, the fleecy box was right in front of my face then. So, that might have something to do with it. And I also might um, explore that dungeon a bit more in a later episode. But not for now. I'll do that when I might be a bit low on supplies. But seeing as I have pretty much full everything except for pants. So I have a big shortage of pants, I guess. It's a weird thing to deny a player of. I wonder if that's intentional or not. Or it just kind of happened. I guess it's kind of hard to come up with names for pants, though. I mean, I remember getting to Madden Pants earlier. That's not where I want to go. We break you. You're distracting. Get broken, jerk. And so, we want to go to the Smoldering Ruins. And this is going to be the last area in the first intersection. So yeah, that's a thing. As in the last thing. That's going to be fun. Blah, 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 white core is there. So, let's look for dungeons and crap. Because I saw some dudes that were on fire in the one episode, and I wanted to see what they dropped. Then they didn't drop anything because they were jerks. Oh, something's above here. Hello, guys. Um, tower up here. And check it out. Uh, iron chests. Let's just shoot them. So there's zombies, so their health is a lot lower than other mobses. Is that the right word, mobses? Sounds a bit weird. It's lower than other mobs' health. That's fine. Um, their spawner should be somewhere around here, shouldn't it? Is it hidden? Um, hmm. I don't want to just kind of attack them directly. There's zombies, so they can punch down drawers. Punch down doors. I'm not sure if I said drawers. It sounded like I said drawers. But I can kind of see a bit better now. So this is it... Why don't we go for that castle? It's probably not a half bad idea. A quick snack. And then we're just going to kind of... Um, gun it. Run away! So, watch out for the lava. Over there. I like how that tree looks. I don't know why I like how that tree looks, but I do. Whoa, that was too risky, way too risky. Um, Light, turn the generator on. There we go, sound effects. Always important. Keep the viewer immersed. I don't know. Is making strange noises immersive? I really don't think so. It's okay. And then you're empty. Oh, oh god, this is scary. So there's... I know you said that there's a lot of honey pots, but I'm still just going to be a little careful. Right, so this is Bane of Arthropods. I didn't put the sharpness on this guy yet. I'll do that next time I have to repair it. I'm going to keep this area lit especially well, because this is going to be where the enemies fly out of. See? Like I said, this is where the enemies fly. God damn it. Back up. Go straight up. There we go. Now. Oh, well, that was nice and convenient. Let's go over here. Oh, hey, you're not on fire anymore. I can fix that. Good job, you fixed your own problem. I had to help, though. I feel kind of bad. I offered, so, yeah. Let's get the glowstone out. I don't quite have enough glowstone just to use it everywhere. So I'm going to only use it when I need light. I'm not sure if that's a good or a bad decision. But there's more light here than I thought. And I'm out of blocks. So let's use dirt. You fell. Just break you. You guys haven't really given me much. So, whatever. 
Um, why don't we uh, loop around this, actually? It's probably a bit smarter. And then we're going to want to... I need blocks, so I'm just going to make sure everything's level. Um, let's check that place out. Right in here. A painting. I want to look at the painting. Oh, hey, guys. Uh, crap. There's going to be a lot of things here. Things. Things everywhere. Okay. No more things. You things cannot shoot at me. So, I see a skeleton. Random spawn skeleton. Uh, let's just switch here. Just beat the crap out of him. What knockback level do I have? That's a lot of knockback. I just realized that. Got a lot of that stuff. Get out of my life. Right, um, then we shoot you because it's faster. Get dead. Get dead! There we go. Uh, why don't we check out... Oh, shut up. Shut up. Please. Please. No. Fine. I don't really want to fight you guys. You're just annoying. And then I hurt my armor and stuff. So let's check out that chest. Up there. Just go above them. Oh, light's useful, right? That stuff. The whole lighting thing. Um. Let's check that chest furnace thing out. That item holder. Aha! There's golden carrot, speed, and poison. Can't hurt. Cannot hurt at all. Wonder if actually they might have a path if they walk around. Oh well. As long as I make this close-ish, I don't think I'll have too many problems. I'm not sure what their range is on pathfinding, how many blocks they can, like, plan around or whatever term is, or if it, it even works that way. Oh, fine. Oh, wait, lava obviously won't work on them. Put their fire out, that way they're all invisible. They aren't pigmen, so that won't make a difference, will it? Um, get out. There we go. Oh, I want to light them on fire now. This is just irritating me, but... Yeah, we got more arrows, and this bow isn't as good as our sword. Plus, I want to pump up our sword a bit more, so... Okay, where's the damn spawner? Now there's way too many of them. This is just unreasonable. I was stupid and let them all spawn, because... I was stupid and let them all spawn. If we can... Okay, so there's one of those little holes in the ground over there. So, over there looks like a thing. Actually, let's just drop some poison on these jerk faces. One. Say cheese! That's not the right term, and I'm unpoisoned. Ow, shit. 20 seconds? Holy crap! Poison two. On the bright side, poison cannot kill you. So as long as we don't run into any skeleton jerk faces, we're fine. But still, that's a pain in the ass. I swear to god, if these guys have Thors in their armor, I'm going to kill them all. Which is what I'm doing anyway, but... Still. Draw back all the way. I keep on not drawing all the way. That's stupid of me. It's a bad thing to do. Actually, I wonder. Perfect. Pants! We got pants! Right. And we don't need cobble. We got our. Actually, let's take cobble. It's slightly more useful than this. We have pants. I repeat, we have pants. We want unbreaking or blast protection? I'm breaking. These are gonna last us a while. I mean, obviously, that's the point of. The wool! Oh yeah. Oh crap. How are they not pathing over like that? Because can't they just walk on that and then walk? I wonder if they don't have some kind of they don't understand the concept of a corner. But how do we get there? I suppose if we jump up two blocks. So they can't get to us. Figure something out. Uh, shoot this creeper jerk. How many entities... Actually, I'm kind of curious. How many entities are there? 
that's three, not F3. There are a lot of zombies. How many is a lot? Where's the E? There's 30 zombies. Yeah, I don't have a chance. I mean, I know that includes all the other stuff, but still. Crap. I don't know. It'll push him away. It'll push him away. Genius. Uh, lava. Lava. Move your butt. Fine. Next. Hey, uh, water. You have, what's your problem, water? Like, you're supposed to do shit. That's more like it. And then we just make kind of a... Move your butts. Move your butts. There we go. Oh, wait, we got, like, knocked back two billion. Get out of here. Knock back two billion. Activate. Right, you, get out of my life. Uh, where, which one is it? I guess it doesn't matter. So we want to go there and there. Who is there that's not letting me place a block? Nobody. I just can't place it because I'm not close enough. Okay, fine. Okay, that pushes everybody away. Which lets me build a nice little tower. So that he can punch me in the face because I'm stupid. And didn't build the tower smartly. There we go. Here we go here. Go here. We're gonna build everybody but that one right there. Oh shit! What's it? That was a lot of lag. So, um, hopefully they all despawned. Let's get stuff. That's not armor chest. Did not see that one coming. Um, let's go leather. I'm gonna want to get my stuff back because there was a lot of it. I did not think I was gonna die. Fleece box is right there. I guess I let way too many of them spawn because that was way too many of them. It was a lot. It was kind of scary actually. So let's get geared up. Five minutes is longer than I always think it is. But I don't want to have that terrible moment where all my stuff disappears right in front of me. So we're going to want to go fast still. Actually, hmm. What potion would be the best to bring? I can count to five. I should have sword. Oh, that's right. I got a crap ton of swords. What am I doing? Mm. Let's use the sharpness. No, wait, dude. We want one with... Uh, best would be smite. That's not an option, it looks like, though. So let's go sharpness four, guy. Because, which one call it's kind of useless. The um, fire aspect is kind of useless. That's right. That's what I'm trying to say. So it's going to poof fast, but... It should kill most of them. I don't know why I was using the stone one. I should just use the gold swords. I'm getting so many of them. Note to self, use gold. Even though the, the durability is a lot crappier. I've got so many of them that eventually I'll have the gold super sword. And I can just pop on breaking on that thing and get it over with. So, and that's what I'll do in the future. If, or if I lose this, I will just do that. Hey, guy, um, let's see how strong this guy is. Two shot, not bad. I'm guessing that's what it's going to be in the smoldering ruins as well. So, let's go for it. Okay, so, I should get some blocks. Do I have any blocks sitting around? Please tell me I left blocks in this. I didn't. Oh, well. Um, I got a pick, so... Hey, creeper that just fell from the sky. Nice to meet you. Sorry, I just wanted to get a few more blocks so I could hop up to my um, tower that I made, see how much of it's left. And then, based on that, go over there. This might be a bit too daring, I don't know. My, um... Right, so how many of them are there? Got it. Oh, stop it. Yeah, fight your friend. This is more like it. This is how we should be playing this game. Hey, guy. Lag. Jerk face. What the hell? Those things are, like, super strong. 
Right, um, but... I'm not getting my stuff this time because... Um, we can just grab my stuff, grab whatever pops up, don't take my time in there. And then just drop into the fleecy box, get one of the wolves. If I absolutely have to, I can even use one of the wolves to plug up the top. I should get a, hopefully I get a pick. If I get a pick, then I'm good, because I can just tunnel my way out from underneath them. Well, obviously you can't tunnel from above, that's hard to do. I guess it can, but take a lot more blocks instead of gaining a couple. And if I have to tunnel out with my fists, I'm not making you watch that, because that would be hell to watch. And to do, but it's okay. I can handle that. I can handle a little bit of lag. I mean, hell. Same thing, whatever. Though still, that was a hell of a lot of lag when that creeper exploded. I guess that's what happens when you have 30 things on fire attacking you at the same time. Lots of particle effects, maybe? I don't know. I'm gonna have to look into that, because... That much lag is a bad thing. I would presume. Okay. The good thing is I'm out of spawning range. Get as much crap as possible. Got it. Nice. Well done, Alvarp. Um, if I die by drowning, it's going to be the most embarrassing CTM death I think ever. Yep, white wool. This one actually felt harder than I think most people said it was. I don't have a sword, so I lost the fancy-ass gold sword. And oh well. That's a lot of oh wells right now. Eh, that's okay. I was about to say oh well again. Not even intentionally either. Right, so... Why don't we move that up block up one? Oh, what's in here? Maybe I'll get pants. Sharpness four? Oh! <laughs> Thank you very much. Give me exactly what I got earlier. Anything else? Nope. Oh well. So, should we charge through that? Oh, let's put on the pants. Oh god, I was about to... Actually, why don't we move these guys to here? Uh, get you out of the quick bar so I don't do something stupid. Um, fire protection versus projectile protection. There's really no competition right now. Thorns, projectile protection is kind of useless right now. Uh, you're still important. We got two picks now, that's fine. Um, and I pretty much just let all of them spawn. So, we're going to use our previous plan. Because I don't think that they can track me through these. And if they can, then, um, crap. If they can't, then I'm smart and know things about this game. Then we gun it and go to the victory monument and get two and one. Two wolves for the low, low price of one. And then we... Fix this crap! You go here. Why are you here? Get out of my life. We need you. Here. And we go like that and that. Light. Yep. And then we can break you. And then we can break you. And then you go here. Perfect. Still having to figure out the way the new mouse works. I did make the settings for it myself, but that doesn't mean that I remember everything. I feel like this is a bit too far to have to go. I don't understand this at all. Let's just look straight up. That's always a good decision. Uh, yeah, I could probably go up right around here and I'll be fine. I can just take a quick peek too. Uh, where are we? Oh, we're right outside the castle place. By right outside, I mean right inside of it. Uh, let's just run away. We got most of our stuff back. It's two and one. That was good. This is very good, actually. I think we got... I don't know, overall it was about the same. That's not bad, though. Wait, arrow him. Whatever. Yeah, get dead. Your friend already murdered me once. I hate you guys now. Screw you guys. So, we got our golden carrots back. Okay, and then we can do some more, um, anviling. Hello, I can walk. And then there's two jerks here. Oh! I got one of their swords, finally. Fire aspect one, I'm breaking two. That's not bad. 
I might be able to chuck a fancy stone sword together too. Who knows, who knows. So we're gonna put this guy in the monument, like the best monument ever. Best putting in monument ever. It's kind of the same monument that everybody else who plays this map has. So that's okay. Whoa, hello, chunks. Thank you for loading. I already know that the nether place is over there. And I because th everyone's talking about that, so you go to the nether. I'm kind of watching the forum thread still, so. I don't know if that's cheating or not. I know, obviously, I'm not supposed to know that if I'm playing the map. But also, I've seen it through chunk errors, so I don't call myself a cheater for knowing that. Not that I'd call myself a cheater anyway. Actually, I might. I do things like that a lot. Not the contradicting myself, though I do that a lot, too. I mean, the, um, whole calling myself a cheater thing. Yeah, that happens. A lot. So let's run on up. I'll wait a little bit. Also, I have a plan with the Flopiderps. As I mentioned, I hate bats. So, I am going to set up a bunch of dispensers in lava. It's going to be glorious. And then we get the white core. Two wolves for the price of one. Very effective episode. We got our... What do you call it? Hello. Right. Oh, wow, these are two legit ones, too. Because we got our, our white core. And our magenta core. So, with that, we're going to end the episode. See you next time, guys. Sorry, I just dropped something. See you next time, guys.